So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can essentially zoom past a text or even an image in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you're going to do once you're in DaVinci is come up here to the effects page and then come down to effects. So then at the very top here, you're just going to grab an adjustment clip and bring that down over your real clip. So now what we're going to have to do is find on our timeline where we want to start the zoom. So I'm going to move it to one second here. So now come up to the top right corner in the inspector menu and then on zoom here, go ahead and press a keyframe. And this will be the start of our zoom. So now we have to move forward as far as we want and moving further forward will make the zoom longer. And if it's a shorter distance, between them, it will be a shorter zoom. So I'm going to go to two seconds here. That's going to be right here. And now we, I'm going to adjust my zoom to 1.3, but you can adjust this to your liking. So now, as you can see here, our zoom is there, but it's pretty bland and or flat. So how we're going to fix this is go ahead and press this arrow to come to your last keyframe and press right click and press ease in and then press it again to come to your first keyframe right click and press ease out so now as you can see here it's just a ease in and ease out but it just makes the zoom look a lot better now what we're going to have to do so that it doesn't cut off the top of my head is come down here to anchor point and then adjust the y or x-axis depending on where you want your subject in the image so as you can see after adjusting the anchor point it zooms in onto my head where we wanted it without it looking weird by keyframing the position now what we're going to have to do is go ahead and hold option on your keyboard and then press up the arrow key as many times as you need, depending on how many text or image boxes you're going to want. So now come up here to the effects tab and come down to titles. And then you can drag down any one of these titles that you'd like, but for me, I'm just going to do a text plus. Come up here to the inspector menu and go ahead and press on title if it's not already selected. So now we can just make our text however we want. All right, so now once we have configured our text however we want, well, we have the effect. And as you can see there, my text didn't disappear because of where I placed it. But if you do want it to disappear, simply come to the beginning and just bring it down on your image. And as you can see there, it just zooms past your text so that, uh, well, it is disappeared or locked into your image. So if you like this or maybe it was helpful, go ahead and click this video next and I'll see you in the next one.